I found compelling about this role was that, first of all, I like to build things. Uh, I love to do things where there's something tangible uh, uh, at the end of the results. I also was quite charmed by the idea of creating a college devoted to leadership and bringing together the many threads of interesting research that are going on today that can help leaders, to do this in the name of Peter Lougheed, who was a wonderful leader and not just in one field. Uh, I mean, many Canadians know him from his time as Premier of Alberta and the role he played on the national stage during the patriation of the Constitution and many other national negotiations, but he was a leader in sport. He was a leader in his profession. He was a great lawyer. Uh, he was a student leader when he was here at the University of Alberta. So it seemed that an institution devoted to cultivating the, the best skills of leaders in students from every discipline, um, naming that kind of, a, of an institution after Peter Law, he just seemed extremely appropriate. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful opportunity to both memorialize him and take inspiration from his life. The University of Alberta, uh, I think, could be a leader in leadership because it's a very interesting institution. It's got a lot of strength. It's a fine research institution. But also because what I've seen in people here is that they are willing to dream. And uh, people are, they're looking for big ideas. It's not a university where people uh, kind of rest on their laurels. laurels. They're constantly looking to get the best scholars here, to get the best programs here, to get the best students, and to give them the best experience. And I love that energy. Everybody I've met here is really smart and really able, and they work really hard, but they're, they're great. I find people very kind, very nice, but very, very focused and visionary, wanting, wanting to do uh, not just the ordinary and not just to kind of satisfy a small set of, of, of values, but to, to dream for the university, and I like that. So I think, I think the school is incredibly well positioned. To do that. There are many leaders on the campus, many leaders, we're, we're in the capital of the province, so there's a lot of leaders here. There's all sorts of energy in, in Edmonton and in Alberta uh, that one can tap into. But I think it's, it's, it's also that in Peter Lougheed, you also have a wonderful figure around which one can rally that is symbolic of this place, who is symbolic of this place, but also symbolic of the very goals, what, what, what one would want students to aspire to, that kind of imaginative, uh, far-seeing, uh, ethical uh, leadership, courageous leadership that, uh, that the world needs. And there is good leadership and there is bad leadership. When I taught at the Kennedy School, one of my colleagues, Barbara Kellerman, actually wrote a book called Bad Leadership. You know, the fact that you are, quote, a leader doesn't necessarily mean that the outcome of what you do will be good. And what we want to do is generate good qualities of leadership, leadership that is ethical, leadership that's imaginative, that's far-seeing, not narrow-minded, leadership that, that understands the importance of team building, the importance of, which is one of Peter Lloyd's great themes, he talked about this an enormous amount, but also the ability to draw out the best in people. Part of my role as diplomat, what they describe it as diplomat, is to go out and meet with, with governments, with organizations, organizations to tell them about what we're doing. So it's really kind of putting the organization, putting the college on the map, looking for opportunities to draw on the expertise of other people, looking for opportunities to engage our students and enrich their experiences. And um, it will be a labor of love because I think it's a wonderful message. I just think that, that the vision of doing this is very important because what students are often finding when they graduate is that they have great skills and they've mastered their disciplines. But now there's a whole new set of challenges in the working world, um, where if you're lucky, you're, you're in a circumstance where you develop these skills gradually, that you have a chance to uh, model yourself on good mentors and good role models, but not everybody has that opportunity. And I think that, that we're gonna give the U of A uh, students that leg up. And we hope also that the college will be in and of itself a center of excellence but that it will resonate throughout the campus. So even students who don't make that extra commitment to be in the college, because it's going to be a very demanding commitment, but that they will benefit by the, the resources that we bring in, the programs that we create for the whole university, uh, so that every student at the University of Alberta will have an opportunity to be exposed in one way or another to some of the resources that we're able to bring uh, into the context of the college. I think there's an embarrassment of riches in terms of the things that we can offer to students and where we, our challenge is going to be to create this two-year curriculum uh, of, of experiences that will uh, you know, cover as much as possible without uh, overwhelming people and that will be consistent with their other commitments to get their degrees. And I think 
the synergy and the, the, the link between the university and the Banff Center is really what makes this extraordinary and, 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 and unique because the Banff Center has a tradition of it, it does executive education and working in the arts and working in, in many different excellent fields. And we see a, a, a bringing together of the strengths, the, the research strength, the substantive knowledge that comes out of the work of the university with the remarkable capacity to reach out and communicate and do training events. Uh, one of the, you know, we're, we're looking at doing simulations. We're looking at all kinds of interesting, innovative pedagogical uh, exercises that we can do in conjunction with the BAMP Center. But I think it's very much worth doing. And there's a great deal of passion behind it and, and goodwill and uh, both you know, support from governments and support from, from uh, private funders, all people who understand why this matters. If Canada is going to innovate, if Canada is going to move forward, we need people of the highest level of skills. And that includes the skills to lead new processes and to lead processes of change. And uh, this, I hope, will be a contribution to that.